Puerto Aden, Puerto Aden Radio, Valero Sweet Ruka. Welcome aboard our sailboat SV Sweet Ruka for this epic adventure. After about 600 miles and five weeks navigating the remote wilderness of Patagonia, we arrive in the small village of Puerto Aden with a population of just under 200 inhabitants. We came to refuel and restock on supplies, but ended up with amazing cultural experiences, including a full tour of a traditional artisanal fishing vessel, complete with a taste test of the local catch. You won't want to miss what happens in one of the most remote places in the world. Welcome to Puerto Eden. As we were coming in to anchor, we heard a voice calling to us, asking if we'd like to raft off the side of their sailboat. While the gesture was kind, we figured we'd swing at anchor as the north winds would push us into them directly from the beam. The kind gentleman turned out to be Patagonian sailing expert Sergio on the sailing vessel Boyero. If you come across Sergio sailing in the fjords, expect a smiling face and a helping hand. We're in Puerto Aden! Boat's anchored right out there. <laughs> and we're gonna go explore. Let's do it. Here comes a million dollars. Is this a school? A escuela. Roxy already has a friend, huh? <laughs> 
It felt strange to be on land with buildings and boardwalks instead of wilderness and woodlands. Stretching our legs after two upwind legs was just the ticket. We are still only under halfway until the end of the fjord, so it was time to replenish supplies. But first, I'll look around. Puerto Eden Radio, Puerto Eden Radio, this is selling your Artemis, 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 over. Just a day behind us were our friends Tom and Hannah, who we met in Puerto Williams. We were lucky to sail around Cape Horn together for our first sail on a performance catamaran. Sailing yacht Artemis was also working her way up the beautiful fjords of Patagonia. Not only was it nice to meet new people on the island, but to see our old friends as well. Roxy was Tom just as excited. Tom and Hannah! Artemis! Yeah! Oh. The small harbor left just enough room for both boats, and a view from the top of the island was a special sight. We couldn't stop thinking about how far both boats had come. Sweet Ruka from the east coast of the United States and Artemis from Great Britain. While we do manage to get a lot of sailing in, we do use the engine for taking weather windows, charging batteries for editing computers, and our there diesel heater. There are no direct fuel stations along the way, unless you travel out of the way to Punta Arenas or Puerto Natales. But the small town of Puerto Aden usually keeps some emergency fuel on hand for small fishing or sailing vessels passing through. If you're in need of a lot, it's best to contact Jose beforehand so he can be sure to have the amount you need. And we did just that. Well guys, we are just enjoying the glamorous side of cruising here. It is pouring rain. The, we the wind isn't too bad right now. And uh, so we are filling up our jerry cans in one of the wettest places in the world. So we really don't have much of another choice, but we are going to have a slight break in the rain and I am on our way to pick up laundry. Temperatures are near freezing, but while I'm doing this, Curtis is getting uh, the last bit of extra fuel in the jerry cans. All right, you can see I've got the laundry there on my back. It was three loads. Hopefully Curtis got the, the last of his jerry cans. We go back onto the boat, do a little computer work, and see what tomorrow brings. <laughs> While filling up fuel, we met an artisanal fisherman that had pulled up to the dock to unload his catch to the processing plant on the island. In season while we are here is Ariso, otherwise known in English as Sea Urchin. The captain and his first mate invited us aboard for a tour and to talk about the traditional art of artisanal fishing in southern Chile. Es uno de los buzos que trabaja con nosotros. Ahí arriba. Ahí está el capitán. Mucho el factor eh, climático, donde se trabaje. Uh -huh. Si es trabajar por dentro de canales, es mucho mejor, porque el, el tiempo es mucho mejor. Si ya trabaja uno por fuera, uh -huh. ahí no, hay que esperar 
Pero buen tiempo. Uh -huh. Estos son los tanques, las cuales también se puede se guarda el acento de ser lo erizo y también se puede traer en cubierta el erizo. Okay. Depende de las cantidades. Cubierta y tanque. Okay. Van en esas mallas o en unas trampas que se usan de las centollas. Con eso se posa. Ah, sí. Sí. Ahí es el sendero también como en nuestra casa. Pero en miniatura. <risa> Esta es nuestra cocina. Oh. Y aquí está la parte de donde va nuestra cavidad. <risa> El generador que tenemos ahí, baterías tenemos ahí. Allá también tenemos otras baterías por el tema de, este es de la parte de iluminación. Y como digo, la motosierra mm, para el tema sí. importante: el tema del, de la leña. Sí. También usamos leña. Lo que es trabajo de. Firewood is what heats the cabin. She explained that there is a special type of wood from a tree called tapu that can burn even when it's wet. A good thing to know in case of emergency and for survival throughout this region. Nuestro hogar. <laughs> Andando navegando. Sí, es... como en un... eh, dice mi pareja es como tú eras jugando en una casita, nuestra pequeña casita de juguetes. Que tenemos todas nuestras cosas. Que no sí. nos falta nada. <laughs> Veronica was kind enough to show us some of the work they do and the types of fishing traps they use. She explained it isn't common for women to come along and partake in the fishing side of things. She also showed me footage of their most recent arrival to Puerto Aden in the middle of the night, where they continued working in the cold and rain to offload their catch, which was quite a full load as you can see. When Captain Victor had a free moment, he took the time to show us the processing plant and even cracked open a sea urchin for us to try. Completely fresh from the sea, 100% natural. Sí, igual se come cocido, pero así es mucho más rico. Oh, de verdad? Sí. Mi primero. Sí. Okay. Bueno, okay. Really delicious. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's nuevo para mí, but this sí, is bueno. Es rico. Es bueno. bueno. Así. Es rico. Sí. Parece como una lengua. Sí, esa es la lengua. Ah, esa es la lengua. Esa es la lengua. No, no es nervioso. <laughs> Es bueno, bueno, puede. Bueno. Mm. El sabor es riquísimo. Mm. Es como sushi. Sí, eh, exactamente. Sí. Everything happens at the processing plant in Puerto Aden. The product gets sorted, washed, and packaged right there on site and then sent all around the world, although Victor says they taste better straight from the shell. Lastly, we walk to the end of the line to collect some of the catch to eat together, as well as collect a portion to take back to Sweet Ruka. People talk about the kindness and good spirit of the artisanal fishermen and residents of the area, and it certainly still rings true. El, el problema es que este producto tú no lo puedes congelar. Eh, ellos lo hacen, le dan un golpe de frío, no lo congelan. Mm. No, Con tiene azúcar. que terminarlo. We finished the day by passing around traditional yerba mate tea and sharing a type of sea urchin ceviche, which includes raw sea urchin, partially boiled onions, a little bit of olive oil and salt, and is eaten with bread or straight from the bowl. <laughs> Victor and Veronica welcomed us like family, and after weeks alone at sea, it was wonderful to share in their gracious company. ¿Te gusta? Mm -hmm. Esta experiencia es mejor que cualquier mejor experiencia que un hotel. Sí, de un ciudad. Sí. ¿sí? 
Ayo, sini bang, sini kasih. Kasi. The cultural experiences didn't end there. The local school heard I used to be a teacher and asked if I'd come in and teach a few English words and phrases. There are only nine kids enrolled at the school and many of them only attend if the weather allows, as getting around on the slick boardwalks can be quite a challenge. It felt good to be back in the classroom again seeing the smiling faces of the children that could attend. An experience I'll remember forever. Lastly, Curtis and I hiked to the top of the town for an amazing 360 view. We never know what to expect when we arrive in a new place, but we are almost always in awe in the kindness and beauty we experience. Our friend Tom that we previously mentioned from the Catamaran Artemis was flying his drone to get shots of the scenic Puerto Aden, when he captured something playing in the water. It was a small pod of dolphins swimming around the harbor between our two sailboats. A big thank you to Tom and Hannah for sharing this footage with us. There's always something magical around the corner in this part of the world. Stay tuned as we set sail north with our next big milestone of rounding the dreaded Gulf of De Penas, which some say is comparable to the treacherous Cape Horn. If you enjoyed this video, please like and share as it's the easiest way to support our channel. A very special thank you to our patrons whose names you can see scrolling on the screen. Finally, don't forget to click subscribe and come along for the ride. See you next time!